Hi, I'm Linda Mihara, and I'm here to show you some wonderful wrapping ideas for the holiday season. Uh, a really cool way to wrap a gift is with the Japanese technique of using just one piece of tape, which is what I'm going to show you right now. If you get your box and you kind of center it on the diagonal of your, of your paper, and what you want to do is make sure that the point at the far end is right in the middle of where your box is. So behind the, the flap that's in front of you, if you just bring it over and you want to start your process by overlapping it right about here. It doesn't have to go all the way to the edge, but just right about here. Then the next move is you want to kind of hug the box with the paper. And so I'm going to start on the right hand side here. So I'm going to hug the box. So you want to take your hand and wrap it around and kind of make a partial crease here to kind of keep it in place take the flap here on the bottom, and the goal is to make a fold that lines up with the corner of this box. Best way to do this is you hug the paper around, hold it here, bring this up, and it should come right up along this edge here. Go ahead and fold it. And again, you're hugging the box, so you wanna make sure the paper is wrapped really nicely over the box. Give it a nice little crease here. So we're gonna continue and move over to the next side here. Again, we're going to hug the box, hold it in place, lift up this flap of paper, and it should line up perfectly right here. You go ahead and fold it, and then bring the remaining paper around. And again, you're hugging the box. So now you have three sides done. And then you're turning it to the last side here. What I do is hug the left side first and get this lined up first, make a little crease, hug the box on the right side, hold that in place, bring the flap up so that it lines up with this edge here, make a slight crease. Then you take the flap and fold it over and then all you need is a little piece of tape just right here on the top, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some tape. You can use a little um, a decorative washi tape if you want, um, or you can use double stick tape and have it hiding underneath, like I do here, and right here, so you don't see any tape mark at all. A nice finish for this is some Mizuhiki cord. You can certainly use ribbon, but in a Japanese style, uh, these paper cords, they're called Mizuhiki, uh, are a wonderful way to kind of add a nice accent to your package. I like to work with odd numbers, because in Japanese culture, an odd number is uh, luckier than an even number, so I'm using three cords. These cords are all the same length, they're uh, exactly a yard long, so 36 inches. And it's just a simple process of bringing it around the box and making a square knot is all you need to do. So right over left, left over right, pull through, you have your square knot, and then you can go ahead and trim it and curl it just like I have it here, which is a really nice finish. You can also do like this technique, which is taking the, the loose ends here, and before you trim it, you actually take it and just feed it through the middle of the square knot, like I'm going to do right now. Just like this, and then taking this. It helps when you line up the ends like this, and then it's easier to feed through the center of that square knot. Like this. And then what I do is kind of pull a couple so that you have different lengths of the little round feature that you have here, making it a really nice thing like that. And then we're just going to trim and you have your very simple one tape uh, Japanese style wrapping, which is really cool.